What's good, guys? What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time one of my videos goes live. And uh, today, it's a different, it's a different scenery. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I'm looking good. I bought some new lights, um, so hopefully, the lighting is all good. And uh, you know, most of my people that are subscribed to the channel or subscribed for basketball content, Luca content, all that. But before I started doing those, I was actually doing vinyl videos. My first video I made was a vinyl video. So I know a lot of you guys have been in the comment section saying, you know, when's the next video coming out um, and all that. It's here. So I don't have a lot for you, but I wanted to get something out before uh, my birthday came. And for my birthday, I'm going to be getting a lot more. So I want to have two videos before then. And uh, I guess let's get started. So the first one out of the three that I bought, I think was this one right here, guys. Hopefully it's, it's probably blasting it. There we go. Casey Musgraves Golden Hour, man. Now, I'm not a big country singer, as you guys know. If you have watched my last um, couple of videos of my vinyl collection and my room tour, I'll, I'll, I'll leave those down in the description if you guys want to go check those out after this video. Um, but Casey Musgraves kind of going out of, you know, what I prefer to listen to. I do have a couple. I have one alternative album. Everything else is either hip hop, R&B. That's about it. Um, so Casey Musgraves, this album right here, bro. If you haven't listened to it, do yourself a favor. All right. Do yourself a favor and go listen to this album, all right? It's, uh, I would say it's not country country, it's more of a country pop. Um, she did win record of the year with this one, and I am, I'm gonna say it, I was the one that uh, listened to it after she won the award, but sometimes, I don't see anything wrong with that, you know what I mean? Sometimes you're just not exposed to that type of music, the people you hang out with, um, you just don't see it, so, Award shows for me, I kind of don't like them, but I like them for finding new people, new talent. Um, I would have never known about this girl from Texas. I believe she's from Texas um, with this amazing album if it wasn't for the Grammy. So as you guys can see, I was holding it up. It is clear. You know what I'm saying? Um, my favorite songs on here, which I'm going to play for you guys in a second, um, would have to be High Horse. Like slow I really like all of them though I don't I don't really care for mother um, that's on the first side and I think that's the only song that I don't actually care for other than that all the other songs are good but high horse golden hour slow burn butterflies um all of my favorite but if i had to pick two definitely high horse and um golden hour so i'm gonna play those for you guys and y'all be able to see how it looks on the the vinyl player all right guys so the next one that i got um i actually don't know if i bought this or if my girlfriend bought it um i think she bought it actually she bought it for me I don't remember what the occasion was, actually. Um, but nevertheless, it's here. We got Rodeo. almost forgot the name of it for a second. We got Rodeo, Travis Scott. Now, I was trying to pick between this one and uh, Birds in the Trap Scene McKnight. And sh I, I just had to go with Rodeo because... Um, I hadn't listened to it in a while, and I love listening to something I haven't listened to in a long time on vinyl. Um, it's just nice. But this one, unfortunately, it's not colored vinyl or anything. Oh, I actually didn't even show you guys. I'm tripping, man. I didn't even take this out. That's how you know I haven't listened, to, haven't made a video like this in a while. But here's the middle. 
is what it looks like. Hopefully it's not blasted out. Here's the back. And the inside of it, real quick, says, there we were in the middle of making this record and a total, a total solar eclipse darkened Nashville on my birthday. My 29th year, a golden hour in my young adult life. There are certain junctures that you can't think your way through. You just have to feel it. I found myself at one making this album. It was, the, <clears throat> it was like the universe was majestically saying, this is a time to be present, to witness the beauty of this incredible world you are lucky to be alive in. Despite it being more complicated than ever and filled with so much darkness, we all need a little light right now. We all need for compassion and art to flourish. We need to remember that when moving forward feels impossible, somehow new love still finds its way up through the cracks in the sidewalk. The sun still rises and the birds still sing. Inspiration finds its way to you again. There are different masks we all wear that represent different sides of ourselves. None of them are solely us, and yet they all are. There's the lonely girl, the blissful girl, the new wife, the daughter missing her mother, the hopeful girl, the selfish girl, the sarcastic rhinist, rhinestone Texan. She is from Texas, I guess. Um, the shy girl and the life of the party, the winner and loser. They are all characters on this record. None of them are alone or me, and yet they all are. The golden hour is when all the masks come together as one, and you can see in perfect light the whole picture of me. So that was nice. It was nice me reading that for the first time. Um, sorry about not showing that to you guys, but nice album, man. I'm telling you, if you haven't listened to it, do yourself a favor. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything to you that I didn't think was good, but you know, everybody has their preference, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's put that up and let's get back to the boy, Travis Scott. Sorry to cut you off like that, my guy, but here we go. It's just black, you know, got two, um, golden hour was only one but i kind of like it when records are only one because i don't have to flip it as much because i'm lazy uh, more songs on the side i think this probably has like three songs or four songs per side you got to get up that's a good thing about it don't become lazy i like doing it while i'm studying to make sure you know i'm still up moving around and this one right here i'm not gonna forget to take this one out there got you guys can see it without the plastic over it and here's the back of it. You know what I'm saying? Once you get an action figure of yourself, I got to buy your record every time. You know what I mean? Every time I got to buy it. Um, so we got this. This is what the vinyl came in at first. Just the rodeo with the rope. Uh, has the song tracks on there. Um, with obviously Travis Scott Astro. Not Astro. Travis Scott action figure. There's action figure again. I love the action figure, but um, I'm pretty sure it's hella expensive. Hella expensive. Um, but yeah, definitely one of my favorite tracks on here. Let's go down the list. We got Oh My, This Side. This side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. That's probably my favorite song on the track by far um, for some reason. Um, I didn't even, it took me a long time to realize that that song was on this record. Uh, Maria, I'm Drunk. I actually, if you guys, I'm, I'm being completely honest with you guys. My first time listening to Maria, I'm Drunk was when I bought this. Because it wasn't on Apple Music. I'm pretty sure if it, was, it wasn't on Spotify. But I'm an Apple Music user. It wasn't on Apple Music. And I just never, you know, got around to listening to it. Everybody said it was good. Um, but Maria, I'm Drunk. I love the freaking uh apple pie beginning i'm gonna play that for you guys um 3500 90210 we got uh antidote how can we forget that you know that was a big song when this uh first came out what else is on here uh that i mess with like that I can tell, but yeah, Travis Scott, man, do yourself a favor if you haven't listened to it, Rodeo, probably, uh, I still need to listen to Days Before Rodeo, I know the people that are Travis Scott stands are probably screaming at the video right now, but don't worry, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, I need to listen to it, open up my horizons, but this is the first step, 
my second uh, Astro World vinyl. I got. Did I say my second Astro World vinyl? My second Travis Scott vinyl. I have Astro World as well. All right, man. So you saw the thumbnail. You know what time it is, man. Whew. Nothing was the same on the vinyl. Now, this is not an official pressing, okay? You can't get this. This was never pressed um, by Cash Money Records, I believe. But this is a bootleg copy, all right? I got my hands on it. Bootleg or not, I had to get it. Um, if the sound quality was bad, I was just going to have to take the L on it. But just look look at the beauty, man. Probably my favorite Drake album. I know a lot of you guys are like, take care, take care. No. This right here hit different. I'm telling you. I don't know how old I was. Um, definitely a teenager. But this one just hit me different. I think I was in high school or eighth grade uh, when this came out. Tuscan leather, bro. Probably drake's best intro yeah in my opinion tuscan leather is drake's best int uh, intro six minute intro how much time is spending on the intro i'm gonna play it for you i'm gonna play it for you i, I know you want to hear it i know you haven't listened to it i'm gonna play it for you how much time is this nigga spending on the intro Stop all of the talking, all of the talking. Got one reply for all of your comments. Fuck what you think, I'm too busy. That's why you leave a mess. Um, but let's just go down the list, bro. This is this is a classic. Tuscan leather, furthest thing, started from the bottom, worst behavior, uh, Wu Tang Forever, own it. From time with Janae Aiko. We're gonna play that one. Child, beautiful child, I'm in your zone. Looking like you came from the 70s on your own. Uh, we got Connect 305 to my city, too much with Sanfa. We got All Me with Big Sean 2 Chains. Um, the Motion, Hold On, We're Going Home, The Language, Pound Cake, and the bonus track, Come Through. Ha! Ah. And what's even better about this is the color of the vinyl. And it looks so much better when it's actually spinning, bro. It actually looks like clouds. Look at this. Literally clouds. It's blasted by the light, but you'll see when I play the songs, bro. It's it's nice. And it sounds beautiful for a bootleg. You probably wouldn't even be able to tell it was a bootleg um, just by me playing it. So, whew. Yeah, probably my favorite Drake record right there, man. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed those vinyl cops I've had since um, my last video. I know I haven't been buying a lot, but you know, um, in my vinyl tips video, I told you guys it's real easy to spend all your money um, on the vinyl, just music in general. And I want to also say that my room is a little bit different from when I made my room tour. Um, if you guys want to see that, leave it down in the comment section. Um, remember, down in the description, I'm going to leave my two vinyl videos I've made before this one, um, my collection, and my room tour. So if you guys want to see an updated room tour, uh, let me know. Make sure you have on your notification bell because uh, around April, the end of April, I'm going to be posting the vinyl cops. I'm going to be getting a lot of vinyl around my birthday. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the uh, video. Make sure you guys follow me on my social media, man. And I hope you guys have a good one. I'm out, bro. I took the top off. Yeah. I'm dripping like hot sauce. Like hot I got drinking this clean raw. Yeah. Baby, give me that mean mouth. Hit yeah. yeah, that pussy like golf ball. Like golf I can ball. do this without y'all.